Dominic Czarczynski is a member of the European Parliament. He's from Poland, and he is unapologetically working to protect his country from radical demographic change, which nobody welcomes in any country on planet Earth. We thought it'd be interesting to talk to him now, and we're grateful that he's joining us. Dominic, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you very much for having me. So I want to just frame this for people who haven't been following it with a conversation that you had with a kind of bewildered interviewer. I believe this is Channel 4 in Great Britain. Um, here's how it unfolded. How many refugees has Poland taken? Zero. And you're proud of that? If you are asking me, if you are, if you are asking me about Muslim, uh, Muslims' illegal immigration, none, not even one, will come to Poland. Not even one, if it's illegal. We we took over two million Ukrainians who are working, who are peaceful in Poland. We will not receive even one Muslim th because this is what we promised. But I asked this not about illegal failed. immigrants. I asked about refugees. And Jean-Claude Juncker, the Commission President, says that you're racist. You sound proud of the fact that you haven't taken any refugees. Of course, because this is what our people are expecting from our government. That's number one. This is why our government was uh, elected. But this is why Poland is so safe. This is the, the, the reason why we had not even uh, one terrorist attack. Look at the streets in Poland. And we can be called populists, nationalists, racists, I don't care. I care about my family and about my country. <laughs> that is so unbelievable. That woman, I don't know what the word for repulsive in Polish is, but she qualifies. Anyway, so, <laughs> I just want to say I think it's the greatest exchange I've seen yes, in a I long know. time. She was, she was surprised by the honest words. She was so surprised. <laughs> so tell us about your thinking on this question. You don't seem embarrassed at all, God bless you. Um, but why are you not embarrassed? Why are you not like everybody else in Europe? Because I'm proud because I love Poland, because I love my mother, my sister, my daughters, our daughters as a, as a families, because we care about them, because uh, we are not afraid to say no. Uh, most of the spineless politicians, leftist politicians in here, in European Parliament, in, in Brussels, they are afraid. They want to be the part of this leftist way of thinking flat, I would say. And, and, and Poland is completely different. I, I must say Poland is, I would say the last stronghold of normality, Christianity, family values in Europe. Obviously, Hungary are, are doing good as well, but by the size, we are the ones who are very much attacked at the moment. So we are not afraid. We believe in Poland. We, uh, we are skyrocketing. When you, see on, uh, when you see the data from here, from Eurostat, Eurostat is an official body in European Parliament in here. By the Eurostat, Poland is the safest country in Europe. And the question is why? It never changed since, since we took power. Since 2015, there is a very, very simple policy, zero illegal migration, which means zero terrorist attacks. Poland is the only country in Europe without terror attacks. We don't have stabbings, we don't have rapes in parks, we don't have all this rubbish in Poland. Why? Because we are very, very strict on migration. As a lawyer, I was listening to, to your conversation. As a lawyer, I'm doing my PhD on international law and, and human rights. I must confirm, they are not refugees. They are illegal migrants committing, who are committing crime. They are criminals. They should be sent back, punished, and then sent back from whatever they they came from. So people are afraid to say obvious facts, and we are not afraid. That's why we are so successful. Again, Eurostat, the lowest unemployment, the, the, the highest uh, GDP growth, we are just booming. Uh, as, and the most important, one of the lowest debts in Poland, public debts. But the most important thing is zero illegal migration equals zero terror attacks. The safest place in Europe. Poland. That is why I've got this um, motto in here, be like Poland. I don't know if you can see it. That's yes, my personal motto because I'm so proud. I'm so proud of Poland. Look at the data and then answer yourself. Do you want to be like Poland or you want to be like, unfortunately, um, some borders in, in Europe and um, in the United States? And I must say, I must say, President Trump was right about the wall. President Trump, you are an inspiration. Thank you for that. We built the wall 
and no one is able no one is able to come to Poland. Wall is the part of our safety. So President Trump was right, but most of these leftists are too low to say yes, he was right. They would never admit it because they are wrong. So that's very simple. That's that's a common sense. That's nothing unusual for us, for Polish, to be brave, to believe in our own nation, to love our families, to take care about the, our our families and our country, and then think about someone else. That's so simple. It, it, it is so simple, but it, I, I asked you, why do you have this attitude that is unknown in, in the rest of the West? And you said, because I'm proud to be Polish. I, I have self-respect. I love my country. Yes. Is it, no country in Europe, maybe in the world, suffered more than Poland did over the last 100 years from every direction, crushed, its population massacred. Why have the Poles emerged? Did they emerge from the 20th century with their self-respect intact, whereas Great Britain, Obviously, Germany, all of Western Europe, you know, they hated themselves by the end, but the Poles didn't. Why? Because we, uh, we suffered so much. You have to remember that Poland um, did not exist for 123 years. Yes. We were, uh, because of the partitions, 123 years, non-existence on the map. And our nation survived. Not only that. As you, as you know, uh, we were attacked on 1st of September 1939 by Germany. Yeah. That's how the war started. Then 16 days later, on 17th, the same month, Russians attacked. And we were occupied after the war for 70 years by the Soviets. So we had to, once we freed our nation from the communism, we knew what the freedom is. We understood much better than others what it means to give up your freedom, to give up your land, to give up your culture. And now we are so homogenic society. We love it. We love our culture. We love our language. We love our food. We, we love our family values. We love everything what is about Poland because this is our land. No one is taking it from us anymore and no one will ever take anything from that. That's why we don't want any Wahhabists in Poland, they will not be let in. We don't want any jihadists. We don't want any Hamas supporters in, in, in Poland or Hamas members. We know they're going to try to move, along, move uh, throughout the world. So as I said previously, and I keep repeating for, the, for, for years, not even one will come to Poland ever. I'm going to join you in Warsaw for dinner at some point. I can't control myself. La Please last question. Well, right. well, I'm, go I'm going food. to. I'm going to. So last question. What advice would you... So in the United States, I know you're familiar with our system, but we have the Democratic Party effectively in charge of sure, the government, but also mm -hmm. industry runs our economy, uh, unfortunately. And then we have this thing called the Republican Party, which is elected to push back and kind of keep them from going totally insane. They haven't done that because they're cowards. That's my view. What advice would you give Republican lawmakers now, a year out from an election, on this question of immigration? Be brave or you will not exist. Be yeah. brave. Believe in what you think. Believe in your values. Believe in family. Don't talk about it. Do it. As I said, yeah. President Trump built the wall. Poland built the wall. We are safe. It's, it's so simple. You have to believe in yourself and be strong. This is war. This is not a joke. This is war. Actually, what is happening at the border is a hybrid war. And, at the, and, and the war needs soldiers. So behave like a man, be a soldier, be responsible, and fight. Then you have a chance to win. Dominic Churchinsky, that was an inspiring conversation, and I'm, I'm, just gr I'm grateful that you joined us today. Thank you so much. I will see you Thank again. you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you.